I'm at your service, Sir Knight. The Lady of Talmberg sent me. She wants me to find out why the crown's been delayed. Uh, through no fault of ours, I can tell you that. We had a large stone ordered for mounting on the crown, a beautiful Moldavite from South Bohemia that we had cut and polished in Prague. But, well, in short, the good merchant, Martin Wiesek, who was supposed to bring it from Prague, got lost along the way. It's like the ground swallowed him up. Well, Lady Stephanie won't be happy. Uh, look, we've got something else here we can replace the stone with, but I'm sure even you can see it's not worthy of a noble wedding, and definitely not worthy of our fine craftsmanship. Oh, if I only had someone who'd try to find the Moldavite. Uh, why don't you just ask me? Of course I'll try to find the stone. Just tell me where the fellow was seen last. Well, that fellow, as you call him, the esteemed merchant, Martin Wiesek, was last seen riding alongside the Sassau River, passing by the footbridge over the ford, to the west of here. Evidently, he never made it to Sassau town. Hmm. Well, I'll look for him, but he could be far over the mountains by now, or under the ground. Hey, Goodman, a word with you. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? As a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognize the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, hey, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Isn't that what I said? And if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. Look, I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Looking for a job? Of course. Jesus Christ. I'm a grown man, and I need an escort. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go, then, and get this over with. Be a bit more... I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow... He knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely, well, honest. What's it about? I'm looking for someone who knows how to dip her pocket. For a reward, of course. Well, then it's lucky for you that I happened along. Who do you want me to rob? There's a farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard. He made a killing supplying vegetables to the monastery. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out without even paying me for my labour. I'd like you to steal the groschen he owes me. And, also, a pouch containing an amulet he got from the herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone, so when he realises he's lost it, he'll have a fit. Sounds easy enough. It ain't quite that easy, otherwise I'd handle it myself. That fucker don't trust no one, and he's always looking over his shoulder. If you manage to nick his pouch and his coin... You could keep the Groschen as a reward.
Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. Shit, Henry! Henry! Here! Where are you going? Henry! Here! I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. Look, I, I can't. It's embarrassing. I I'm a coward, and I won't be able to handle it. Now we're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. <laughs> ah, look. Jesus it's Christ. out. The agony. They want to keep it as what a memento. I, I love it. This? Oh, all right. Sit down the fishing boat for a snack. Throw it down upon the deck. Try your fish with the best fishy pie in the world. Henry, I'm glad you came. Jesus Christ be praised. About those other things you wanted from me. I'll get looking for those things then. 
Excellent! You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So, show me what you've got there. The Tooth of Layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. Hmm. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get, so if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't exaggerate. That will be all for now. One beer for me. I hope I can be of help to you tonight. You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. My pleasure. Why? I could use a paw like that myself. Then go to the knacker. I'm sure he'll get you one. I'd like to try that luck of yours. Let's play for your talisman. <laughs> As you wish. My talisman against your groceries. Sure. There'd be no point in it otherwise. This will be the one. No point in pushing it. Shouldn't have pushed it. Now you. Finished. Hmm. Hmm. 
God's holy hat. No point in pushing it. <laughs> it seems my luck still holds. Another game. Oi, right, let's do it. This will be the one. That's it. This will be the one. This will be the one. This will be the one. Kiss look. See? We'll see. Huh. Kiss look. No point in pushing it. Well, seems my looks run out. Damn it. Seeing how last. I reckon that cat's paw don't bring luck anymore. <laughs> Not to you, anyway. So, thanks for the game. What the hell?
Henry's come to see us. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid, splendid. So show me what you've got then. One cat paw for luck. Wonderful. How did you obtain it? You wouldn't believe it. I won it from him. Oh, no, you don't. Now the talisman won't bring its owner luck anymore. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, well, luckily it's a cat's paw, so it has other uses. That will be all for now. What's that? Who's what was that noise? There's something here. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. I found this skull. People are saying it's the skull of a demon, but I don't know. It certainly looks like it, with the horns and all. Well, let's see. Those are deer antlers that someone's fixed to this human skull. It's not a devil, just a bit of devilry. I'm glad to hear it's not the real thing. Someone must have put it there deliberately, knowing that's where they were due to dig. And they put a lot of work into it, too. The horns are held on tight, even though it was lying in water. Whoever did this was skilled bugger, and no mistake. Welcome, Henry.
Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. Satisfied? That's not enough. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. I'm glad to see you. Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bollocks! Bloody Joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Rat Eye that I got back in my right mind. You're not doing too well either, are you? Right now, I'm a squire for Sir Radzig. I see you've worked your way up. Ah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped off to bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sassau. No one. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now.
I'll find you something. You can rely on me. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt. Don't you worry. And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines. So wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're looking for a job that pays a lot and doesn't require much work. What other neighbors of ours made it? Your hunkers in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa. But who knows where she is now? We got separated. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? Damn! He'll be able to get out of this on his own. Everything here is fine. And who are you? Brother Elias. What do you do here? What I can. I'm just trying to help the Scalots locals as much as I can. How long have you been helping here? Since before the refugees arrived. It was much less crowded back then. And what do you do here exactly? Mainly I help Brother Nicodemus. Occasionally I keep watch at night in case someone takes a turn for the worse. Sometimes I have to hold the patient down or fetch and carry things. Do you know anything about healing? A little. I can manage the basics, but 
Without Brother Nicodemus, I'd never be able to deal with the more difficult cases. Thank you. What the? How are you feeling? Good. It feels clean. Hope it helps. It will. Tell them to rebandage you daily. You have the bandages here. Thank you very much, Henry. Don't mention it. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. How are the wounded from Scalitz? Some of them are well taken care of. But others... Others are dying here. Needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this? I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. That's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long and he always leaves unsatisfied. Thank you. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? You're the infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him. But it seems he had some disagreement with Johanka, and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. Are 
Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. What happened to Philip? Philip? He's unconscious. He's shivering and he has a fever. Ah, I didn't know that. When he first came here, he was fine. No wounds on him. He was escorting the others. Then he got worse and worse until he lost consciousness entirely. Ask Johanka. Maybe she'll know more. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Do you know anything about herbs? I'm not an expert, but I know a little something. Is it urgent? Well, one of the workers who was injured during construction would like to get back to work. He mentioned some purple flowers that would... Herbs. Oh, purple herbs that should help. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but you can have a look in the herbarium here. There won't be too many purple herbs for bruises and sprains. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it, then. One of the sick men, Semek, is complaining about pain and the fact he can't work. He says he... Semek? Is he one of our people? No, he's a construction worker. He's bruised and confined to... Henry, for God's sake, our neighbours are dying here. Your friends. There isn't time to waste on some construction worker's bruises. Oh, honestly, what were you thinking? Listen, all I need to find out is the name of a herb. Then go and look it up in a book. You've got your own herbarium, haven't you? What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. <sighs> if he got poisoned... But what can we do? Us? Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scalitz years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all I need to know. Are you holding him firmly? Aye. Don't. Jesus, look where you're going. Greetings, Henry.
Ah! Lord Almighty! Welcome, Henry. Be a bit more careful. Have you seen Lesher, hey. the scaffolder? I saw him. What do you want with him? I want to talk to him about the head he dug up. Really? That's interesting. Why? He asked me to meet him on the scaffolding tonight, so he can tell me something important. Said he wanted to confess something. So he did have something to do with the skull. I knew it. Maybe. But I'd wager someone made him do it. He doesn't seem the type to come up with something like that on his own. I'm planning to go and meet him. Will you come with me? It will be safer with the two of us. I'll go. Very well. We'll meet at night. If I'm not down at the bottom, then look for me at the top. All right.
How's it going? Whose house is this? It's our local custodians. The most esteemed Sir Sebastian. Baron von Berg. What does the custodian do anyway? Well, he's meant to look after the local community and keep the peace. But? But in fact, he seems more interested in robbing everyone blind. You don't seem to think very much of him. Well, of course I do. A man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel can't be all bad. I'm much obliged. <laughs> don't mention it. You look bored. Beyond tears. How can you be bored here in Sasal? In such a holy place, filled with knowledge. Don't even talk to me about it. They won't let you touch the books. They don't want to talk to you. And when I wanted to look at the remains of St. Procopius, at least, they ran me off. Me! Like some kind of thief. What good is the whole blasted monastery if I can't even do that? Maybe I could help you. How? You're not planning some mischief, are you? No, not at all. I was going to bring you something from the cave under the monastery where he spent his time. You can get in there, you could touch it for luck, and then I'd return it. Oh, no. Hmm. You do that for me? Of course. Then I'll be very grateful to you. I've got a bowl for you from the cave of St. Procopius. A bowl? I was expecting something a little different. Behold. Ah. Is it really from St. Procopius? Yes. From his cave. A truly astonishing place. This surely has miraculous powers. You're right. My God, you're right. Such holiness. I'm in your debt, Henry. How can I repay you? Well, Groshen never hurt. You've surely earned them. Here, and Henry. Yes? I just wanted to touch it for luck. If you took something you shouldn't have, I expect you'll put it back. Hey! God save you. I'm helping at the infirmary now, and I came to ask... Ah, and how is your Hanka? Do you know her well? Yes, I do. Good, good. Does she ever talk about me? Sometimes. A little. That's good. Excellent. Your Hanka means a lot to me. I'm mainly here for his supplies and to talk about the state of the wounded from Scalitz. They need blankets, food... Well, that's not my problem. Let the infirmarius take care of it. His hands are tied. Until the abbot comes back, he can't get anything. And why should that interest me? Maybe because of your hanker. Hmm. What precisely are you getting at? She has a kind heart. Everyone can see how deeply she cares about the wounded. If you help her selflessly, it will win her over. She's bound to be impressed. Maybe you're right. It will cost me something, but I'll discuss it with Nicodemus. I should be able to help in some way.
God save you, Henry. Ah!
Come here, you fucker. I'll put your gun for you. Come here, Lily Liver. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Who's there? Hey! What are you doing here? Tired Swerve! of life, are you? Get over here! Is that all you've got? Hey! All of you! Gather here! Raise the alarm! What's the matter? Come on! Over here! Where is everyone? <laughs> <laughs>
The sun sets out a crop. I hope I can be of help to you. Can we do something about the price? I. Satisfied? Come now, just a little more, and we have a deal. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement.
Let's talk about the price. Hmm, all right, so. Finally, a reasonable sum. Can we do something about the price? Hmm, all right, so. Are we agreed? Well now, a little more and we'll shake on it. All right, so. I'm at your service, Sir Knight. What? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing here?
God be with you. About that Mulder bike we discussed. Yes. Do you have some news? Yes. Uh, the good news is I found Vizek. That sounds like cause for rejoicing, but how come he isn't with you? That's the bad news. He didn't survive. Merciful God. He was a good and highly respected man. I will pray for his soul. Anyway, let me see the stone, if you would be so kind. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. It looks undamaged. I'll get straight to work. You can come for the finished crown tomorrow evening. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all I need to know. Aha, uh -huh. it's you. I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas is my name. How are you, Henry?
Come and get it! Don't kill me. I'll tell you everything. Who are you? I, I'm just a worker here. He told me that if I take care of you, then he'll forgive my debts. I, I didn't want to, but he forced me to do it. Who sent you? Who's the master builder's helper? Y young Smola. What? He was supposed to be here as well. He isn't. He went to the mill nearby when he found out Leshak was hiding out there. Fuck. What am I supposed to do with you? You tried to kill me. I was aiming to miss. On purpose. I wanted to scare you off and, and then say I missed. D -d Don't kill me, please. Well, I have to punish you somehow, but maybe I'll miss, and you'll land on something soft. What? 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 